so this thing and that thing are um, Mahonia media or a variety called charity they come from China so um, they're like first cousins of Oregon grape but I mean and just as a, just a, a casual glance is oh it's an Oregon grape no it's not an Oregon grape um, again like a cousin this particular one we kill all the Dr. Seuss tree because it grew up just as a giant stick it showed up from the nursery like the others and turned to a giant stick and now branches and it's a Dr. Seuss tree. Um, here's a regular organ grape. So you can just see Mahonia media is, is quite tall. Again, that one I showed you before is quite tall, but this one is really quite tall, probably twice as high. You know, it's heading head, head towards, you know, eight or ten feet. And then um, this little organ grape here because uh, it does have a good deal of competition with the other plants here, which is why it's not maybe as tall as that other one I just showed you. Um, again, it's smaller, it's glossier though. Not glossy. The thing about this one, about a Mahoney Media, is it is incredibly dramatic. Again, this is the Dr. Seuss tree, complete with little, little funky bird feeders. But uh, it is dramatic. So let's take a look at this one right here. And this is one plant. It's, it's starting somewhere on the ground down there in the depths of the forest. Um, but this is one plant. See, there's a big branch right there. There's a big branch there. There's a big branch there. Go this way. There's another branch. This is another trunk. Um, I've seen one specimen of these down in another town, which was probably about 10 feet high and three times the size of this. So they can get quite big. Um, again, these are dramatic plants. They start, at, if you're going to name the nursery, they start fairly small, maybe just a couple feet high. Um, however, in the right position, which again is, you know, little, sh little sun, little shade, um, you're going to get a, a real treat out of these because it has these very, very elegant buds right here. This is just a work of art. Just look at that. Um, it, and it produces generously. That's three stems right there. And then... Um, you look at this and you're thinking, well, it's just a bunch of leaves. It actually also produces beautiful flowers. Here's, it's, it produced its flowers already. This is actually something from last year. Those are just the stems that make pretty little yellow flowers um, in the winter. So December, January. And this thing is, this is where the hummingbirds come in the winter and they feed off of this. And so yeah, I get, a, you get a, I get hummingbirds all winter because they come and feed off of this particular thing. Then they make, all little blue little blue fruits also um i don't see any right now but earlier when it was small it was making it had about the flowers and the fruits and again the hummingbirds just uh love it so again mahonia media variety charity it's from china um but the the negative thing about this particular plant um is that it is prickly now it's not prickly it's sharp so you can see those right there uh, these, those will poke you. You won't necessarily bleed, but you will feel it. Ow, ow, ow. And see, it's leathery. It doesn't like to give way. It's fairly firm. These are fairly green leaves. Um, this, these ones here, these older ones, you get a pretty good poke out of those. And um, you see it's all planted here amidst the barberries as well, because when we started this garden, I started this garden. <laughs> Back 2015-16, uh, we had two big puppies, and they like to dig everything up. And I discovered they don't bother things that are prickly. And so this garden is full of prickly, needly plants. And maybe that's why it's grown. Um, we'll do a barberry tour another day. Let me show you a couple more of these Mahonia. So here's another one. This one is a few years old. These are all these are all planted at the same time, so they're all about the same height. And look, they just I'll pull back a little bit. You know, there's a you know, you know, kind of juvenile sized maple tree right there. And there's a little uh, magnolia back there. But these are just nice. These are probably about five and a half feet high. And um, again, it's, it's because they're more in the shade, they're not as dramatic, but they're getting there. They used to all be about two feet high and now they are much taller. Here's another, again, there's another Mahonia organ grape right there. So you can see the glossy leaves, which are really nice. And there's a Chinese guard dog. And then over here, 
Here's an example of one which is coming back. This little fella here, that's a, there's a little stick of, a, of an organ grape, and here you see our leaves. So it's coming back. Um, so again, they, are, they live in this climate and they like this climate. And I'm gonna end the tour right over here. Sounds like the nut hatches are having a party. This, this little one right here, this one grew from a seed. So that's an example. So again, an organ grape um, coming from a seed. So at least in this climate, you can grow them like that. And then lastly, there's one right there. And that's a, that's a charity mahonia. And again, it mixes very nicely in this sort of woodland setting. It's got ferns and there's a bamboo right there.